Hello and welcome to another episode of A Ghost in the Magazine. I'm Steph. And I'm Elle. And this is Ted. <laughs> this is the podcast husband. This is the podcast husband. So we, we just wrapped 31 Days of Horror and uh, I think we thought it would be super fun to just kind of like ease back into the regular things with a, a month dedicated to Ted Raimi because why not? You know what I mean? We he's married so dreamy. Him. Yes. <laughs> uh, even while he's getting like knifed in the brain. So he's... dreamy. <laughs> even when he's being uh, oblivious in a not a haunted grocery store. I feel like maybe that would have been a little bit better if it was a haunted grocery store. Yeah. But you know, it is what it is. Um we've talked about intruder a lot uh mm-hmm. but we're gonna talk about it some more to uh to start the month going mm-hmm. honestly it's one of the better full moon movies mm-hmm. i'm gonna be super super honest with you because full moon has some freaking stinkers <laughs> sure does <gasps> so they've said before but you know what this movie um yeah this movie started like a wild love affair with Ted Raimi and I don't regret talking about it at all I squeezed it in I think during full moon month maybe I I started asking you might have started talking about it we did it for 31 days of horror though yeah but I brought it up because I'm like, we're doing full moon. And I'm like, has anybody seen Intruder? And I think Nate had seen it. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. He did. Because I remember asking him about it. He's like, ah, it's all right. But I didn't know my man's was in it. So she didn't realize the like, you know, awkward, pale sex appeal that is Ted Raimi. And you know what's funny about this movie? Ted and Sam Raimi are in it but Mm -hmm. with all due respect Sam doesn't have the same goofiness obliviousness (laughs) yeah like goofy goofy old guy swag that that Ted has been able to like maintain Mm -hmm. he's literally carried this with him he is suave as fuck now. Like, sure. I follow him on Instagram. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> we thirst. I I. <laughs> True. We'll send each other. A little... Don't judge us. First of all, we're not the only Ted Raimi girls out there. We are all. not. Every time I post a Ted Raimi TikTok. It blows up. That's like our most popular content. So, yeah, our bread and butter is actually Ted Raimi thirst traps. So, come at me, ho. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be vaguely intruder. <laughs> Mostly just thirsting over Ted Raimi. I mean, this Ted Raimi month. It is Ted Raimi month, and I th- I feel like he deserves his own month. You know, yeah. Why not? I mean, he's uh dapper as heck. He is. He's all glasses. We wear glasses. Yes, we do. Oh. Mine are right here. I put my contacts in for this morning, but <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure Ted would still approve. Honestly, as long as we can see, I think that's the most important thing. All but, right. you know, you have to be able to take the glasses off at the end to prove that you're hot and uh, possessed or whatever. Yeah, no glasses, no ponytail. So, are you sure. possessed? I might be. Wow. By All the right. horny demon obsessed with Ted Raimi. No, it's true. The text that I was getting from Elle yesterday while she was walking, <laughs> while she was watching another one of his movies were wild. We'll talk about that in the next episode. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. But we should talk about Intruder a little bit. A little um, bit. Yeah, okay. So it is like a grocery store 
slasher. Oh, I want to clarify something because I was thinking about it while I was watching the Intruder again this morning because I've seen it a bunch of times because I love her. Um, when we were doing 31 Days of Horror, I was too high to, during this episode, to really wrap my mind around what we were talking about. When we were talking about when I said I'm a gore girl, I do love gore, but mm. I want it to look like this, like how it is in tr- Intruder. I don't want goofy. it to be realistic. I want yeah. it to be goofy. I I like the practical effects of like smushing heads, which they do a lot of in this movie. Um, I like that. I do like body horror better. But that saw <gasps> through the yeah. through the jaw that was gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I liked it. It's not like in Saw when they're freaking circular sawing bitches' bones off, and like that actually makes my tummy turn. Yeah, I don't want it. It's gotta yeah. look stupid. Yeah, it's just, it's just gotta. It's funny then, and it it like takes. I mean, you can still tell the story that has these horrific elements in it. But you just, like, don't have to have the realism of it because, like, the story should be enough. We're we're here to have yeah. a good time, not throw up. <laughs> no, I don't like feeling ill. That's why I skipped the last song. Like, this is a juicy good time. I, I've mentioned it before, but I love that the weapons look so fucking fake, okay? Yeah. Even though it looks... And, oh, okay, so a thing that I noticed about um, Sam's character this time around that I really like when he gets hooked um I love that shit they show this scene from like down below that yes, you can clearly tell like he's got the uh the practical effect of the hook in his face but like it's obviously him mm-hmm. and he's like swaying and I'm like you know that man's standing swaying like this I like it I love the gushing blood in that scene too because yes. again it doesn't look super realistic it's just it's fun it's yeah it's a, it's a fun effect so it's like I'm at Halloween Horror Nights and I I love this movie I love this movie because like both brothers are in it and it very much gives like somebody sitting around like let's make a horror movie this is our our budget this is what we're gonna go for I like that okay Mm -hmm. and I like that the story is not okay (laughs) the story is not like super fucking realistic like a you know a stranger picking you out following you home or anything like that your middle-aged grocery store manager snapping (laughs) yeah I got carried away (laughs) motherfucker (laughs) like get off me because realistically in this situation so the grocery store is closing down and that unhinges him because he owns 49 percent of the grocery store and the other guy owns 51 percent so he doesn't get to make the decisions Mm -hmm. so like that just unhinges him realistically I could see that in this economy like People are like one tiny decision away from being like homeless all the time in America. Um, very is a very stark like situation, but it's just facts. So I can see him falling off and killing his his business partner. But the kid didn't do anything except be horny in your grocery store. That's what I always say. Like the only murder that was necessary was the other old man. Like, yeah, you know. And he's like, oh, I got carried away. I, I think you need to be on medication. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there was a lot of teenagers that you picked off. And then a gro- like a delivery guy came and he got knifed. Like, that's, that's a bit much. <laughs> You're a little overboard, bud. Just, just Dial little. her back. <laughs> just a tiny bit. Like, but it's funny. You know, he's mm-hmm. got this thick mustache and the crazy eyes and he's running around with a giant knife that's clearly made out of like a styrofoam and like silver sticker you know what mm-hmm. I, mean? I love yeah. that i have to comment if i edit this out okay. but we didn't know like the first watch through and <laughs> nor this it wasn't until like the second watch through i didn't know this character's name um, his name is the same as my fucking crush. 
<laughs> Isn't that interesting? And also, what's Produce hilarious? Joe. Produce Joe. What's <laughs> hilarious also about Produce Joe and and other uh, such characters on this podcast is it's like no one can see the appeal until I sh- I shine a flashlight in its face. <laughs> Yes. And I'm like, oh, I like that shit. And I was thinking about it today. And I think it has a lot to do with me being like aggressively pansexual. I find the strangest things attractive in people. You know what I mean? <laughs> but for some reason, we're like synced up on the man thing. Like, we like these tall, skinny, nerdy boys. I don't know. <laughs> They're pasty and like they I don't know they've got like this awkward swag that I'm like like yeah I can get with it (laughs) like this is definitely the one like let's say I'm working in this grocery store this is definitely the one that I would like set out to make sweat every day I'm like you (laughs) you are my target the one thing I don't want to ever gloss over when we're talking about intruder is the psycho ex-boyfriend okay yeah this is like so I think this is like classic trashy slasher that's like you know it's it's harmless it's a harmless good good time because it's not serious it's not you know this is not going to happen to me but the twist here is that the shitty ex-boyfriend ends up like being the savior I mean it ends kind of like off the wall there's a hot ass Bruce Campbell cameo he's the only cop I would ever let handcuff me (laughs) (laughs) but this guy is psychotic you know he he only dated this girl this teenage girl mind you for two months a year ago and as soon as he gets released in prison for killing some guy he's up her ass he's calling her job he's stalking her he's watching her through the bathroom window at her job like what is your problem and then there's a guy who works inside the grocery store and this will never not boggle my mind like oh yeah we used to be best friends and the girl's like that is not a flex homeboy and he's like yeah I know but he used to be super cool until he tried to kill me and my whole fucking family and if this guy hadn't bashed him in the face repeatedly with a Hamilton Beach blender he would have killed me like what yes, he was so specific yeah. was like, oh, blender yeah Hamilton Beach blender <laughs> and he's like this like goofy ass like stoner character kind yeah. of too so. he was very like Keanu Reeves in and Bill and Ted's excellent adventure Keanu Reeves and everything I love Keanu but Jesus we, we do love Keanu we've recycled a couple um podcast uh daddies honestly it started with daddy cage and then we graduated to daddy Reeves and I don't think I don't think he's going anywhere. I think. Well, he's he's daddy and husband, so like, oh. yeah, he's got staying power. Not all husbands are daddies. Definitely no. not all daddies are husbands. Ted's the full <laughs> package. I'm just waiting for someone to like this be the episode that pops off and somebody climbs into our DMs. Like, what's wrong with you, hoes? Nothing. <laughs> We're fine, thank you. I don't care. I know. I've never. I never. I will always bring up the weird shit. That's why we did the shape of water. And I will never fucking apologize. I would say if you have a problem with this episode, don't watch Splice. Do not fucking watch. Do not. (laughs) Do not fuck with Splice. It gets. Ooh, and that was early. Like, oh, yeah. That was one of, like, the first ones I think Jay was on with us. Like, it wasn't the first, but it was one of the first ones, and we really went. (laughs) We went went there, we went there, and we bought property. We did. (laughs) And they got foreclosed on. (laughs) Yeah. And then we started just, you know, living in the trees. (laughs) (laughs) Babbling strangely about Ted Raimi. 
and throwing rocks at strangers. And Shredder is a movie I'm always gonna fucking watch. And Tubi is just gonna keep keep it there for me. And I'm just always gonna periodically watch it. I am. Same. Like I did. I think that uh the when we covered this the first time, like I guess I don't know. I think I saw him and I was like, I'm intrigued. But I wasn't that intrigued because it was in the middle of a deluge of shit. And so yeah. like, I was just like, oh, fuck this movie because it's another one. But just I watched it one. like on a random Sunday afternoon with not shit going on. And I was like, hmm. I came back to it that way. And and my thing is, is like, I'm I'm there. I'm watching until the scene behind Steph. And then I'm like, eh, I'm checked out. <laughs> yeah, once it gets to it's. Once it gets to like final girl mode, like you're kind of over her screaming all over the place, and you know. But this guy's so entertaining. I I I genuinely feel like it may not have been the same movie for me without him. Mm-hmm. He's got headphones on, and they just keep showing flashes. He's listening to the same fucking song through the entire movie, and just look like, yeah, like it's like a really good, like it's like a sandwich, you know. It's like. <laughs> A sandwich of obliviousness. It's an oblivious sandwich. Yeah, he's the cheese, because we love cheese. Hell yeah. <laughs> We're cheese sluts. No, literally, we have shirts to prove it. <laughs> that we wore to the Tillamook Cheese Factory. I made them. <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of little kids running around there when we were... <laughs> You know what? I'm not gonna apologize for that either. Hopefully, they don't know what a slut means. This is free country. Do we have to give this chuds? I give it. Fuck it. I give it five chuds. It gives all the chuds for me. Me too. I I literally am just throwing chuds at Ted with my bra. Yes. Yes. Every Ted Raimi movie is five chuds. Like that's just how it is. It's just gonna be like that. <laughs> And you'll see when we continue <laughs> with the whole month. Yes, and I'm sure, like, I I picked out one for next next uh, session. The raptor one. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a feeling that's gonna be trash, but I'm gonna be, I mean, maybe I should watch it while I'm still ovulating. <laughs> I was gonna say beauty is in the eye of the beer holder, so we may not find it trash. We may not. Not. We can't be trusted with trash. All right. Well, five chuds. Five chuds. If you want to hear more Ted Raimi nonsense, you're gonna to have to stick around for the rest of the month and hopefully forever. And in the meantime, you can find this podcast on the interwebs at ghostinmagazine.site or on Twitter at gitm podcast. You can find me on Twitter at witchxpudding. You can find me at nocturnical. Okay. Bye. <laughs>